see her body, she's showing her panties. She shake it like jelly. Hundred bands of Chanel, but I'm still shaking ass in a deli. With my bitch getting dirty. He like him already. He wants the walk, but I just. Obviously, you guys saw from the title, this is a get ready with me pack everything. The next few days, I'm just gonna be vlogging my how I'm getting ready for my very first Coachella ever. Today is April 6th. I'm going thrifting today to try to find some extra outfits for Coachella. I like. Saying that is so crazy because if you know me, you know I love going to concerts, I love music. So Coachella for me is just like the ultimate top goal in life to get to, like for music wise. I'm so excited, I'm honestly gonna be the best time ever. We just got our Airbnb, well we had one, we changed Airbnb, so this one's so nice, the whole house and everything. I'm just so grateful and like, I just like, I don't know, I'm just like, I can't believe it's actually happening this week. On Wednesday, I leave. So you guys are gonna see everything and I'm gonna try not to like freak out every 30 seconds. Overall, I'm just like, like I'm just freaking out. This is not real. This is not real, but it is real. My outfit today, very cute, very <laughs> cute. And my sweater is from H&M. My pants are from some thrift store in Vancouver. I don't know what it's called. I think it closed down to be honest with you, but I got them for like $10 a long time ago and I was gonna give them away. And then I realized that like I actually look really good in them. This top, I think I'm gonna get it because it's really cute. It's a small, I think it'll fit. I really don't wanna try it on because like that's just so much work. I'm just gonna have to pray this fits. I can always return it, so like it's not that serious. I think it'll work perfectly. Good morning guys, today is hair day. The thing is, is that I have to go get my hair from the hair store. Today is Coachella pack day. I've dedicated this whole entire day to finish getting what I need. Yeah, I was gonna go shopping first and then pack my stuff, but I feel like I'm gonna get unnecessary things. So I'm really gonna pack everything first. Well, first I gotta eat breakfast and then I'm gonna go pack everything in my room. And then everything that I need to get, I'm gonna go to the mall. The mirror is so dirty, but this is what it looks like. It's blonde, it's long and it's really cute. I really need my hair to start at the top with like the natural color or I feel like it just looks like I'm an alien. So I just really like it. The bottoms are like this like really blonde color. So cute. I literally just spent the past 30 minutes making a cool side playlist for over in the pool because I'm gonna need the bops. I mean the bops. I feel like every single time I film a video, I show you guys music that you guys never asked for. When I hear this song in the desert, I might just go insane. Steady, undress. I am quite literally already so overwhelmed. I'll show you guys my packing situation. So this is all I'm bringing. I have my backpack. Honestly, this is the last thing that I pack because whatever goes in here is just like kind of extra. This is the bag that I'm taking to the festival. It's just a clear bag. So I like to see like what I have to like, you know, I rummaging through my bag for stuff. And then I have this suitcase here. It's kind of small. But I really don't think I'll need that much stuff I literally claim that I am one of the world's best packers because I don't have to pack a bunch of things I kind of just like have everything laid out already. So first I'm gonna pack my actual outfits I just procrastinated for two hours laid in my bed and watched tiktoks because I got overwhelmed And one thing about me when I get overwhelmed, I just stop everything everything needs to stop or I can't handle anything <sighs> All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is pack my actual outfits. I'm not gonna show y'all. Here's a little sneak peek. I feel like packing my outfits so I know that they are all in here, all ready to go. So there's no like problems or issues because if there's issues, then I'm probably gonna cry. Because my outfits are like, they don't take up that much room. Cause I was like, I feel like my suitcase is so small cause everyone is bringing like packed bags and I'm just bringing like a tiny little suitcase and a bag. I'm confident in myself that I'm a very like good packer. So I feel like I won't really need all that, to be honest with you. I'm just scared for the white shirts that I'm wearing because if there's makeup on the shirt, like it's quite literally over. Everything is so small. That's another thing with like packing summer outfits. I just packed three outfits and it takes up like 1% of my suitcase. So I feel like it's not even gonna be an issue. I just can't wait to, <laughs> I cannot wait to wear these shorts. I cut these yesterday because they are a bit long and I love how they're shorter now. I feel like this is so good. There's literally four outfits in here. I'm so happy, like genuinely. <laughs> Cat lit for that girl. I still cannot believe I'm going to Coachella. Like, you guys don't understand this. My whole life growing up, I'm that girl that's like so influenced and obsessed with music, culture. My whole life, I literally was like, oh, like, I'll never be able to go to Coachella. It was something that seemed so far away from me. I would be like, 
achieve your dreams you can do it if i can do it but like for real like obviously it's not like a dream like it's capable all you need is money to get there you know what i mean but like having a group of friends that i can go with to there like guys i used to have no friends like genuinely no friends but i'm just so grateful for everyone that i'm going with and i love them all and i can't wait to just have like the time of our lives like genuinely hey now hey now this is what dreams are made of and then for my shoes i got these two from call it spring love them they sent me shoes for coachella like dead ass like what are you kidding these are so adorable they're like sandals i've never had like flat sandals like this before i'm really excited to wear them just like when we like go out or walk around palm springs and then these ones are a bit more fancy as well i'm gonna wear these to my friend's birthday because we're going out for like a birthday dinner and i think these are so cute for photos and definitely like in the summer obviously i can't wear these around the festival because they are genuinely just like gonna hurt my feet but i love those so much okay so progress progress this in here is gonna be my toiletries bathroom stuff i'm pretty sure i can put all my makeup and everything in there i kind of just laid everything out so obviously i need sunscreen i have two sunglasses i feel like that's gonna be enough and then my foundation and then i have more makeup up there but i'm just gonna figure that out tomorrow look at this sun oh my god this is getting me very excited i'm gonna go to the mall because i have to get a few other things go to the mall i need to find a pair of long socks if i can find extra jewelry and i need a bathing suit or something i need black bathing suit bottoms and i want to get like a full bathing suit just for like the pool and to hang around in so i picked this one cute bathing suit from h&m this red one this yellow dress which is really really cute a brown bathing suit and a white bathing suit I went to garage, but there's literally nothing there for me that I wanted. Here we are, ready to try everything on. So exciting. This yellow dress was genuinely everything and more. I, you already know I got it like instantly. The second I tried it on, I was like, yes, I need that in my closet yesterday. Then I tried on this red bathing suit and I thought it was really cute. Like I was definitely going to get the red one because I was like, okay, red is everything until I tried on the white one and the white one had me sold. So I got the white one and then the yellow dress, of course. Got this yellow dress and last minute, last minute I found this blue dress and oh my goodness, I feel like the colors and everything with the Palm spring sun and my skin is gonna like get everything and more. Hey guys! Hey guys! <laughs> it's actually really good. The ramen, not gonna lie. And the... Oh, here. What are these tacos called? Birria tacos. Birria. Birria? Birria? Something like that. Katrina, la Katrina, something like that. I think the cheese made it like stay together. This is good. Okay, we'll try this first just in case. They gave us three napkins. I hate when they're stingy like that. Mm. So I'm gonna try the ramen. Cilantro, corn, beef. <laughs> 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 it's kind of scary because look how oily this is. Like, y'all see this? Ready? <laughs> I think it's like, it's not bad. Cilantro flavor. I don't know what cilantro flavor is, like, mm -hmm. really for real. Like, I don't know how to describe it. But it's not bad. It just tastes like this with noodles. Mm -hmm. Like, there's really nothing different. But this? Mm hmm. Everything. This is good. I don't even eat tacos like that. I don't even eat tacos. Like the taco wasn't really real tacos. It's just like... They just put stuff in a shell. So this is like authentic, right? Shout out to the Me Mexicans. Shout out to that guy working that like didn't know what he was doing. Sweating his ball off. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's so good. Mamma mia. Oh wait, that's not what they say. What do the Spanish people say? Mamma mia, is that Italian? I meant like how do I What are you trying to say? I have no idea. <laughs> Like, this is good or something. I don't know. Uh, Gracias. De nada. I'm gonna go into my food coma after this. Everything's falling out. You need cheese. Didn't you say you don't like eating yeah, whatever food for breakfast? Okay, okay. I, know it's like, I know it's like 2 p.m. right now. Uh -huh. <laughs> but that's the first thing we eat today. I missed breakfast because that was with. There you go. <laughs> now I get it. Like, people do like wine and stuff. This is good. It makes it like. Now you understand. Caliente. Like, I know people use, like, lime with, like, drinks and stuff, but... Food? Yeah, I can get behind that. You do the... Uh, mm-hmm. The, the salt, salt, right? Yeah. <laughs> of course. Of course. I'm gonna do that. Also, they gave us this sauce. It's good. Out. It's so good. It tastes like invisible, girl. I can taste nothing. Really? Nothing. I, mean, I like... can't eat this anymore. I should throw it up. It's just, like, too much. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's so much going on in there. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Okay guys, so we finished our food. I don't know if anyone's gonna finish this. I'm getting full. But I rate it a 9 out of 10. I, I love these tacos. What do you rate it? 8.5. 8.5. Okay, so apparently they're very good, so. Apparently. <laughs> Assy bitch, but you know I'll be outside. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, my arm's gonna shake. It's <laughs> like your leg. Getting anything, or it's actually over. For I mean, honestly, it's like not like I'm going to the middle of nowhere. I can just yeah. buy something if I need it. Exactly. I'm so excited for you. I hate like. I know it's gonna be a, a big ass crowd. A big ass crowd. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I just got to the airport like. 20 minutes ago and let me tell you i went through security so fast like i felt like they barely even checked my bag which is honestly like whatever obviously i don't have anything like illegal but it was just so fast i was shocked but i'm at my gate right now b38 cross from it because there's like a lounge area here i'm trying to like sit back relax they got like ipads on the table and everything like it's like bougie up in this airport i have like no location on only through my friends know where i am in the world right now because santi we're surprising well i'm surprising him for his birthday i'm flying with them to palm springs but he doesn't know that yet everybody else does so he thinks i'm just like chilling out home even though i'm like fully at the airport ready to surprise him but that's gonna be tomorrow morning i still can't believe i'm here i feel like finally it hit me that i'm like literally going to coachella i'm gonna just chill here for like another hour and then my plane starts boarding at around 5 30 and then we'll be on our way and i'll see harj at 8 30 in vancouver <laughs> I was on that trough like the entire time. I was just hiding in the back. <laughs> Look at him carrying my stuff. He's so sweet. Coachella starts oh, tomorrow. Let me fall on my suitcase. <sighs> I'm so excited to be in Vancouver, my home, my house. I thought this train was supposed to start moving yesterday. Yeah. Skin to skin. That was like, that's a touch of skin to skin. <laughs> so we're at Cactus. I got the avocado dip, which is so good. <laughs> Brown too because we're hungry. Obviously we got dessert because Harj can't live without dessert. <laughs> but I love these fries so much guys. They're everything. It's like 11 o'clock at night right now. We're going to go to bed and then tomorrow is the big day. But I'm honestly so tired. I'm going to edit this vlog. Hopefully I can get it up by tomorrow. I'm just like giving tired and exhausted right now. I can't wait to go to sleep and see all my friends tomorrow. It's going to be so exciting and we're going to be Palm Springs by like noon tomorrow. That's going to be in the next vlog and you guys can watch all of that. So make sure to subscribe like comment follow me on instagram because i'll be posting a lot of photos and stories there so yeah <laughs> every night fucks every day up every day catches the night up oh my god you should match it it's that kill no way lighter still i fuck my 28th up 1998 my family had the acrid oh